A uh, quick video here to talk about something called stratified sampling. Uh, now what that really means is you're getting a representative sample of a large group. Um, so let's choose a large group. Uh, all of the people at Nudgee College, everyone who, who works here, all of the students who go to school here, that's a large group. That's like 2,000 people plus. Um, now let's say that we want to get a small group to make decisions on behalf of Nudgee College, a smaller group. Um, it's important that that small group is representative of the larger population so that everyone in the larger population has a voice. All of the students have their voice, all of the teachers have their voice, all of the uh, support staff have their voice, um, maybe all of the parents have a voice as well. Alright, so uh, let's look at stratified sampling and how it works. So here's what Nudgee College looks like. We've got 1,500 students, about 130 teachers, 200 support staff, I've just picked that number out of my head, and parents, about 2,500. So all together in that Nudgee community, I haven't included old boys or whatever, there's heaps of other ones, but in this Nudgee community, there's 4,330 people in total. Now let's make a smaller group of people um, that are going to make decisions on behalf of, or debate things or meet and vote on things um, on behalf of the larger population. That's the idea. So the way to do this is to figure out what percentage of the total each of these groups is. So for instance, let's look at the students. The students are 15, there's 1,500 of them, 1,500. If we divide that by 4,330, which is the total, we'll get um, a decimal number, which we can convert to a percentage, which will tell us what percentage of um, the total that the students are. Calculator. All right, so I get a, a decimal number of 0.3464. That means that 34.64% of this population um, are students. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the other three. So a whole bunch of calculation here, but what we end up with is this. 34.64% of our population are students. 3% of our population are teachers. 4.62% are support staff. And a whopping 57.74% are parents. Now, if we add up those four numbers, not that we have to, but it's good to check. If we add those four numbers up, we're going to get an answer of 1, or 100%. That means that we've covered all of our people in our, in our group. Add those numbers up. Okay, now that I've done this part of the maths, I can come up with my sample. Okay, so these are my strata. I'm going to step back a bit. It's called stratified sampling because we've got four stratas, S-T-R-A-T-A, -A, uh, stratas. Okay, so now we're going to create a sample, a stratified sample, a sample that's representative of the larger group. Um, now I'm going to make this really, really simple. Let's make our group um, sample of 300 people. And when we don't want to ask everyone in the entire community what we should do with something, instead we're just going to ask these 300 people. And hopefully their views are representative of the larger group. All right, so I'm going to hide out here for a little bit. Um, sample of 300 people. So we need a certain number of students, we need a certain number of teachers, a certain number of support staff, and a certain number of parents. Now here I'm going to figure out what my strata size will be for each of these people in my sample. It's actually a fairly straightforward piece of maths. We know that 34.64% or 0.34 of our total 4,330 are students. So we just need to get 34.64% of this number to be our sample. So 0.3464 times 300 equals calculator. All right, so the answer in my calculator is 103.92. Now, I'm going to deal with those decimals in a minute, but hopefully you realise that if you're going to get sample sizes of people, you can't have 103.92 people. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of those in exactly the same way, then we'll come back and deal with the decimals. Okay, so here's my stratified sample. Students, I'm going to have 103.92. 
Teachers, I'm going to have 9. Support staff, I'm going to have 13.86. And parents, I'm going to have 173.22. Now, obviously, we can't have decimals of these. So I'm hoping that when I round up and when I round down, everything will just sort itself out. So let's see. Let's do our final bit of rounding here. So students, 103.92. Well, we better have 104. Round up. Teachers, no rounding required. Nine. Support staff, 13.86. Let's round up. We'll get 14. And parents, 173.22. Let's round down and we get 173. Now, remember what we're aiming for. We're aiming for a sample of the general population, a sample of 300 people. So this total should be 300. If it's not, something's gone wrong with my rounding. All right, uh, I'm going to do some maths. Okay, we're in business. So now we have a sample of 300 people that represent the larger Nudgy community. 104 students, 9 teachers, 14 support staff, and parents, 173. That'll be 300 people. What we've just done is stratified sampling. We broke Nudgy into stratas. We figured out what percentage of Nudgy is represented by each of those stratas, and then we made a smaller sample using those stratas. Done.